Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacool Math Mania. My name is Captain Is123 and today we will learn how to relate and convert seconds to minutes, hours to days, days to weeks and months to years. Let's start with how many seconds are in one minute. One minute consists of 60 seconds, which means that there are 60 seconds in a minute. What about in an hour? 60 minutes make up one hour, which means that an hour consists of 60 minutes. How many hours are there in a day? Well, there are 24 hours in a day. 12 of them are daytime hours and 12 of them are nighttime hours. Let's look at a few examples. If we've established that there are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one hour, and 24 hours in one day, our first example would be how many hours are in three days? Well, if in one day we have 24 hours, in three days we will have 24 multiplied by 3, which gives us 72 hours. Our next example, how many minutes are there in three hours? Well, if in one hour we have 60 minutes, then in three hours we will have 60 multiplied by 3, which is 180 minutes. Another example, how many seconds are there in two minutes? So we've looked at hours and days, minutes and hours, and now this one is about seconds and minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. So two minutes will be 60 multiplied by two, which is 120 seconds. Now that we can identify and calculate seconds, minutes, hours, as well as days, Let's move on to how many days there are within one week. A week consists of seven days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. On average, there are four weeks in one month. Little Catalia asked her teacher, Miss, if there are on average four weeks in a month, how many months in a whole year? Well, Catalia, one calendar year has 12 months in it. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and then December. Most months either have 30 or 31 days, with the exception of February, which only has 28 days and then 29 in each leap year, which only takes place every four years. A calendar year has 365 days, but an additional day in each leap year which again, only happens every four years. Let's look at one last example. Jonathan's teacher tells him that school will be closed for vacation for a total of 21 days for school break. Can you calculate how many weeks Jonathan would be at home for? Well, if one week consists of seven days, then how many weeks is 21 days? In this case, we have to divide. 21 divided by seven days gives us three weeks. Did you get that as well? Great job. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.